Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos are Hollywood power couple goals. They met on the set of All My Children back in 1995 and have been happily hitched ever since. But that doesn't mean their marriage has always been easy. Here's the truth about their unique and long-lasting relationship. I, I hope all the girls that were mean to me in high school are watching this right now. As co-stars on the daytime soap opera All My Children, Ripa and Consuelos knew they were meant to be from the very beginning. In fact, Ripa knew he was the one before she ever met him. She told Radio Andy, "...I saw my husband in a photograph before I saw him. And I knew when I saw him. I knew when I saw his photograph." I fell in love with Mark the day I met him. Ripa was tasked with acting alongside Consuelos for a screen test, and he was immediately attracted to her, too. Even so, he admitted to HuffPost, "...I didn't really think I had a chance with her. Clearly, the couple was meant to be." Fans of the soap stars could see that Kelly and Mark had smoldering chemistry on screen and off. But it turns out that their relationship was off and on, too. In 95, they were asked to appear on Live with Regis and Kathy Lee to surprise fans for the Mom's Dream Come True special. Something was certainly up, though, because the two weren't talking to each other. Consuelos recalled on the show, "...we actually had an argument, Kelly and I, and hadn't spoken for a few days. It was ridiculous." However, they quickly realized their argument was meaningless compared to what one of the moms who appeared on the show had gone through, and they immediately got back together. That night, they had pizza and wine at Mark's apartment, and that's when he asked her to marry him. Ripa was somewhat surprised, recalling, "...I said to him, "'Ask me when you're serious,' and he said, "'I am serious.'" They made it official the very next day. This couple didn't spend a single minute on planning a big, extravagant wedding, and the pair got hitched on a whim. After Mark proposed, Ripa supposedly said, "...let's go to Vegas tomorrow and get married. We're not working. We have the day off. Let's do it." As she shared on her show, a limo picked them up, and the pair wed in a little chapel in Las Vegas. Ripa carried plastic flowers and wore a white dress she bought five years earlier at a Barney's Warehouse sale. It fit then, and it still fits now. For their 20th anniversary, she posed in the gown for a celebratory snap with her hubby. Considering their last-minute wedding, it should come as no surprise that the pair didn't have rings to exchange at the altar. Apparently, simply being together was more important to the celebrity couple than showing off expensive bling. It wasn't until 10 years into their marriage that Consuelos finally put a ring on it. Ripa admitted to the Unqualified podcast, "...it must have been making him feel a certain way that I didn't have a ring. So for our 10th anniversary, we bought me a ring." Ripa now regularly rocks her diamond wedding band on her morning talk show, but she says her engagement ring is the most precious thing she owns. As she told Elle, "...I'm sure my kids will drag it from my dead body, but I will never part with it because it's so special." Though Ripa and Consuelos wrapped their last episode of All My Children back in 2010, the two still enjoy working together. Mark told Elle, "...we're super partners in crime, my wife and I. And they're very successful business partners, too." In 2007, the pair officially launched their own production company, with the aim of telling even more stories together. Miloho Productions, created using the first two letters of each of their kids' names, Michael, Joaquin, and Lola, produces all sorts of content that ranges from Emmy-nominated documentaries to digital shows you can stream from your sofa. They even produced a reality series that is strikingly similar to their own soap opera days called Dirty Soap. Ripa explained to E! News, "...the goal is to eventually get off camera someday. Because, as you can see, we are not gorgeous like soap stars are. We just have to say that when it comes to these two, their good looks might just last a lifetime." With a recurring role on Riverdale as Hiram Lodge, Consuelo spends a lot of his time filming in Canada, while Ripa spends each morning in New York City starring on Live with Kelly and Ryan. And the price of their individual success is that they're forced to spend a lot of time apart. For many married couples, living thousands of miles away from their spouse on a regular basis isn't exactly an appealing situation. But surprisingly, this celebrity duo's life has always been like that. Ripa shared with People, "...we're actors. We've done it for years. It's not hard. It's actually something we're quite good at." And when it comes down to it, it seems that collective independence is a definite strength for the couple. Ripa explained to Good Housekeeping, "...Mark doesn't need to take me everywhere or do everything with me." Apparently, if Consuelos is feeling a guy's night, he gets it. And it's the same for Ripa and her gal pals. But, of course, this doesn't mean they never miss each other. Consuelos sweetly confessed to Ripa on Live, "...you know what I found out? Being away from home so much? I don't really sleep very well when I'm not with you." Still, it seems that sometimes this couple spends 24-7 with each other. And all for the cameras. It's so weird when you're here because I just saw you at home. In 2016, Ripa was in search of a new co-host to join her on Live, after former host Michael Strahan suddenly moved on to Good Morning America. It was a tumultuous transition for the show, as well as for Ripa. But after having her husband appear multiple times alongside her, it only made sense that he might be a likely candidate to fill the empty seat at the table. Ripa told Vanity Fair of her search for a co-host, "...no one would make me happier than Mark." Even though they had worked together many times before, the pair ultimately chose not to become co-hosts on Live. Viewers often see Ripa divulging personal and sometimes even deeply embarrassing stories about her family on air. And with her husband hosting beside her, the two would pretty much be an open book. Ripa admitted, 
He values our marriage, and he says that he doesn't see how we could stay married and both do that show. A year later, Ripa finally found her new co-host, Ryan Seacrest, who she lovingly refers to as her other husband on Instagram. Even though All My Children wrapped years ago, these two stars of the small screen have occasionally found themselves back in the biz together. In 2019, Ripa appeared in an episode of Riverdale as Mark's character's mistress. She joked on Instagram, "...23 years of auditioning for a role I was born to play." But I'm no kept woman. I do a job, I get paid for it." Ripper revealed to Vanity Fair that when her husband initially asked her to take on the racy role, she thought it was hilarious. But the director really wanted her, so Ripper signed on. She later admitted to Entertainment Weekly, "...it thrilled me to no end to play my husband's mistress." Consuelos was proud to see his wife back on set again. Plus, having Ripper filming in Canada meant more time together for the otherwise busy couple. And even though we haven't seen Kelly's mistress character reappear in any episode since, Consuelos teased to Vanity Fair, "...it's definitely not a close thing. I think there's definitely an opportunity for her to come back." While this power couple seems to have a picture-perfect marriage, it's just like any relationship, and it still takes work. With Consuelos traveling around the world for his acting career and Ripa getting cozy with another man every morning, the occasional bout of jealousy isn't necessarily off the table. You really expect me to believe that this thing you have with Ryan is innocent? That is exactly what I expect you to believe. There's one story in particular that Consuelo shared in the book What Makes a Marriage Last, where jealousy may have gotten the best of him. It was shortly after they tied the knot, and he was out of town working. He recalled, "...I couldn't get a hold of her all day. We didn't have cell phones then. I got a really bad feeling and called her." Reportedly at the time, Ripa says she was home cleaning toilets. Obviously, the two sorted things out, and after all these years, they still managed to keep it fun and spicy between them. Minus the toilet cleaning. When this pair gets some time off or even a shred of downtime together, they definitely make the most of it. In fact, regularly scheduled date nights are one of the ways they've successfully made it work for decades. But it wasn't always that way for the pair. Ripa admits that back in the day, she didn't even have time for herself. She told Redbook, "...it was work and kids and work and kids and more work and more kids. And I nearly got lost in the shuffle." When Mark encouraged her to focus a little more on herself, Ripa found that she was a better wife and mother. When it comes to these two, the secret to a successful marriage is all about carving out time as a couple. And it doesn't have to be fancy, either. Ripa shared, "...a date night for us is watching Top Chef. It's really just about checking in, asking how the other person's day is, and cuddling up." Ripa and Consuelos have since made themselves a family of five, and their kids truly are everything to the couple. But as Kelly once admitted on the show, "...I am regretful that we didn't have one more." She says the family dynamic would have been a little better balanced, at least when it comes to heated discussions. She explained, "...you always have two against one. It is just the way it is. It's unavoidable." Even though they're now adults, it seems as though even the kids wanted a younger sibling, too. They asked about one all the time growing up. Still, Ripa is resigned to enjoying her happy family the way that it is. She joked with Good Housekeeping about having more kids back in 2012, saying, "...they start giving you the advanced maternal age warning at 35, so it scares me." With her constant use of the hashtag daddy on Instagram, it's clear that Ripa is still very much attracted to her hottie hubs. But that's not why she refers to him by that pet name. It's fine. We're married. I can do this. It all started over a decade ago when Consuelos was out of town filming. The couple's good friend Andy Cohen happened to be at Ripa's house one night when Consuelos called to check in on the family. When Cohen answered, Mark asked him to make sure one of their doors was locked. According to Esquire, Cohen recalled, "...I said, sure, okay, daddy, and that's where it started, and it stuck." Now even their fans refer to the actor as daddy, and many of Ripa's Instagram posts tag it, too. We're all familiar with even the most happy celebrity couples hitting the skids and splitting up for good. But these two stars have stood the test of time. Ripa told Unqualified, "...relationships evolve. We're just lucky enough that we evolved together." But they've also clearly earned the stability that they enjoy in their marriage. During the first year that they were together, they had little arguments all the time. Ripa explained to Redbook, "...we looked at each other one day and said, "...we're in this for the long haul, so let's make it fun. You work on your marriage the same way you work at your job." Luckily for Ripa, many of their family moments have been captured on live throughout her many years on the show. Looking back, they both consider themselves fortunate to have found their soulmates so early on in life. Ripa mused on the show, "...we've really built a life together." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrity couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.